morning friends today i will tell you how to create a seven segment display in lab view so first we go to our front panel and over here i just create a square wave not square wave square led as you see i just take this one and i just copy this multiple times this is my second one and this is my third one. and i again copy this and change i want to change its shape like this so i put it over here this is four this is five and this is sixth this is seven so i just take seven square leds in this case and i want to just remove its label this is the process how you can create a led so label is gone again over here so remove the label so this is my seven segment display you just go to your block diagram and just change the same shape according to the position of the block diagram so this is my shape so right now i just create the code this is in this case i just use a case structure so this is my case structure so i need a case selector over here so i just use a numeric integer type because in this case i just use 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 as you see over here i just connect and in this case i just add more cases add case after this is for 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so right now i have total 10 cases 0 to 9 so for this i just use functions true and false so i just go to the boolean or here i have true function i just copy it and false function so first of all in the case of zero all should be high so you have to connect like this the cases should be inside on the edge of case structure there should be seven leds like this true and right now all are connected so this is the case of 9 i wrongly did that so i want to just go to the 0 case first go to the ninth case i just copy this because in every case i require true and false condition so i just copy this so true 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 when zero is there all should be on or not only this one middle one should be off so i just delete this and connect it to false so right now i got all these 
this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, on. Else this, this is false. In the case of one, again, I just copy this. I need true condition over four and five, let's say. Else should be false. Or you can just connect these two false. All should be connected. So right now all are connected. This is the case of one. In the case of two, these should be on. Four and seven should be off. So I just put over here and in this case four and seven should be off. So this is true. This is true. This is true. This is true. And this is also true. Okay, so this is the case of two. Now go to the case of three. I just copy this. So in the case of three, this four and five should be off. Four and five. Okay, and all other R should be in on condition. As you see, so right now three is okay. In the case of four, just go to the true false. In the four case, this should be off, and these two should be off. So, Boolean, this is off. Below, it is off and 5 also in off condition else are true we will verify it also and we can debug the error in the running case so again for the case of 5 i just need this one this and 5 and this 6 should be off this is 5 and over here this is 6 this should be off and all other are true so connect these right now these are blank because there are empty cases available Once all are done, this should be green. So, 5 is done. So, now go to the case number 6. Copy this, paste this. So, for the 6, this should be on, only this should be off. Let's true, true. It is up to you how you can write 6. Now it is ok. Now go to the 7. So I again copy this. In the case of 7 it should be on. And 6 and 7 also on. other are off it is done now the case of 8 copy this paste here in the case of 8 all should be true No need of 
false so delete this now go to the ninth case in the case of nine this should be true and this should be true this five and three should be off so delete this five and three should be okay now we will test it so run it continuously right zero one two three four five six seven eight nine now my code is ready so we will do some another experiment on it like I want to run it from 0 to 9 continuously for that purpose I just go with the for loop as you see I just put this code inside the for loop and over here I just delete this and connect this with this one and over here I just put 10 so it will go from 0 to 9 goes n minus 1 and I just put a delay inside it so that it will run slowly so I just put a 300 milliseconds delay so right now I just run it as you see the number runs from 0 to 9 and when I increase the delay like this so you can check so right now it is a single digit numeric 7 segment display if you want to go for more you have to just copy this so I just copy this code put it over here you have to just put and put this inside and just go to the over here and you have to just I just got a mistake you have to just copy not this you have to just copy this one okay so I just copy this over here for the double digits and in this case you have to here is a mistake control set you have to just copy this only not the other part okay so I just put it over here and you have to just position this is the middle one place it this is the per one check the positions this is from this side this is over here the positions of these square LEDs should be exact so right now I just go with the second digit code you have to just put over here and one over here and I just go with a another for loop loop inside a loop this is a case of nested loop also and I have to connect this okay so right now you can check how the code runs so over here there is an error because I connect this and I have to take a constant also over here connect this right now code is ready you can check
zero one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine like this you can create a seven segment display or anything or you can say numeric indicator so it will run from zero zero to nine nine okay this is a double digit display like this you can go for four digit five digit six digit up to anything you want so in the case of like i want to go with more so i just copy this this part place out, outside the loop like this so this is the case of three digit numeric display in this case i have to just place a for loop outside this like this this should be inside the for loop and you have to just connect this iteration to this iteration goes from 0 to n minus 1 so in this case also it should be 10 so right now you have to just check the positions so right now this is one over here this should be over here this should be over here this is the middle one this is the upper one this is the below one and this is right side and this is left side okay so right now when i again hit on run button it will zero zero one two three four five six seven eight nine it will go from zero 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 to nine 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 like this you can create anything or numeric display using seven segment okay thank you